by the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship the Lord today. We give God the praise. He's a mighty God. He's excellent. He's worthy of your praise. He's glorious. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we thank you. We honor you. We honor you in this house, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord Jesus. Father God, move in the atmosphere now, Lord Jesus. Father God, we thank you. Let our glory be unto you today, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father God, let your power reign in this house today, Lord. Lord, we want to thank you. We want to honor you. We want to honor your presence, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are glorious, Lord Jesus. You are precious, Lord. We honor you. We honor you. We honor your praise. Father God, we want to thank you. Thank you for our life. Thank you for our family. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Open your heart and let the Lord move in your life. Let the Holy Spirit move in for you today. Hallelujah. We want to thank the Lord. We want to thank Him. Thank you, Jesus. Just open your heart. Receive the Lord. Give Him the praise. Worship Him. You are under the glorious moment. Let the heaven be open for you today. Oh, Salabah Sunday. It's precious. It's glorious. Glory, glory, glory. Glory be to the King of Kings. He's worthy of your praise. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Let the heaven hear your voice. Let the heaven hear your sound. Hallelujah. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Just praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He's mighty. He's mighty God. He's Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Elohim. Oh, he's worthy of your praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh yes, Lord Jesus. Today is a moment for you. You are here, but you are not here for a mystic Lord. Because you are receiving the visitation of the Lord today. Hallelujah. You never had prayer and the Holy Spirit. Today is a day for you. Hallelujah. I need you to open your heart unto the Lord. Let the Lord move in you today. Hallelujah. Don't head back. Hallelujah. Don't hold back. Hallelujah. All the pain, surrender. Hallelujah. Every broken heart, surrender. Hallelujah. You're going to move for you today. Lord Jesus. The body you've been carrying, surrender. Hallelujah. You must take up that burden and give it unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Every broken heart has been meant to the name of Jesus. That you press on, hand over in the name of Jesus. We come against every obstacle. We come against every confusion. We come against every torment. We arrest every strong man. We find every strong man to mention your life now in the name of Jesus. Oh, that the Holy Spirit move for you today. That the fight. Father God, we want to thank you. We want to thank God for the power, for the glory, and for the spirit of the Lord that can move in this house to the Lord Jesus. We cover everyone here with the blood of Jesus. Whatever you are here for, receive the hand in the name of Jesus. We come against that strong man, Lord Jesus, today. We find in that strong man today in the name of Jesus. A new life shall come upon you today. A new beginning shall come upon you today. You'll be moving all over. You think you know the 
the Lord, but today we have spirit, a new move of the Holy Spirit in your life today. Hallelujah. We come again that stubbornness in the name of Jesus. We are close to her. We are close in the name of Jesus. Every hopelessness, we are arrested now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we want to thank you. We want to give God all the praise. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. We give him all the glory. We give him all the thanks. We give him all the praise. Everything and all glory be unto the Lord, the King of Kings. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know why you are here today, but I want to let you know. You know, John 1 verse 46 said that, uh, you know, there was one time Nashana said, Is there anything good that comes from Nazareth? Somebody might have been saying in your life, Is there anything good that will come from you? They say, Is there anything that will come from your family? Is there anything good that will come from your life? But I want to tell you today. Let them know. You know what Philip told him? Say, come and see. So they tell your enemy, come and see. Because something good must come out of you. Something good will come from you. Something will come from your generation. You are that one that God has chosen. You are not here by a mistake, but you are here by an appointment. Hallelujah. You have an appointment with the Lord. That's why you are here today. Tell your enemy, come and see. Because something good is coming out of me. Hallelujah. I think God prayed. Hallelujah. We cover everyone here with the blood of Jesus. Let's welcome restoration prayer, amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Amen. Uh, you guys ready to sing, dance, clap your hands, do the Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands for the Lord. Amen. Amen. How many of you guys know that he's your helper? Amen. Yes, he's your helper. So give Jesus a hand clap. My helper.
Give me 
for you without go back the same amen hey, hallelujah we cover everyone here with the blood of jesus hey, and let the holy spirit move for us hallelujah hey, i want us to pray for the man of god to take over the platform amen father god we thank you lord for the man of good life we thank you that father god you're covering him with the blood of jesus and we come against every obstacle we come against every barrier we are proof to have a stronghold over his life in the name of jesus every hour from the enemy we say let it go back now in the name of jesus father god we come with the blood of Jesus, and we declare, Father God, that your word will manifest to him, that you will use him to the mighty in the name of Jesus, that Holy Spirit will direct every footstep in the name of Jesus, that Holy Spirit will move with him today in the name of Jesus, that whatever message you have for the people, let it be delivered in the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you, we honor you, we give you all the praise, we give God all the glory, hallelujah, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for our Papa. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Thank you. Appreciate you. Oh, I know you can do better than that. Hallelujah. Amen. If that's how you clap for the Lord, then I guess you need to take your clapping. If you have to say, that's how you clap for your boyfriend, if you're louder than that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Or if I say, that's how you clap for your haters, if you're louder than that. Yeah. Okay, I said clap. Yeah. I said clap for Jesus. Yeah. I said clap for Jesus. Yeah. Let it be louder. Yeah. Let it be louder. I don't know who I'm talking to, let it be louder. Yeah. Let your clapping be louder. Yeah. Let your clapping be annoying for your enemy. Yeah. Let your clap, I say, let your clapping in this house be louder. Clap so hard that something has to break in your life. Clap so hard that depression has to flee from you. Clap so hard that some things that are heavy has to break in the name of Jesus. I say, let it break from you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not ready yet to charge this house up. But it's going to take your prayer that's going to charge this house today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, you, you, you didn't just come just to be in the presence of the Lord. You come to break some things that have been hanging on you for a long time. <laughs> Hallelujah. So do me a favor. Don't look at your neighbor and care. Because your neighbor got problems that are heavier than you imagine. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. I know some of you came here for a baby dedication. But it looks like God's going to dedicate you for the first time. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. You thought you came here for the baby. And the baby said, I got you now. 
I've been waiting for you for a long time. Amen. The Lord says, he said, thank you, baby. That's why I give birth to you to come down on this earth. Amen. Because that stubborn woman, that stubborn man has been taking too long to come to the house of God. Amen. I feel like somebody here that's the rebuke coming to your life. Amen. But it's going to help you to become a better person. Somebody say amen. amen. I don't know who that's for, but that's for somebody. Amen. So then we're going to pray, actually. We're going to pray. But God has been talking to, to us, you know, even in Bible study, we, you know, who partake of the three-day fast? Let me see your hands. Yeah, hallelujah. hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's 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 to Jesus for a minute. Let's let's whip to Jesus for a minute. That's because uh, that's because of that fast. That fast. That fast. I want the choir to join me on this one right here. Breath of heaven. Breathe on me, Lord, breath of heaven, breathe on me. Come on, somebody sing it with me. Breath of heaven. Breathe on me, Lord. Breath of heaven. Breath of heaven. Now hold a second. Give me a second. Some of you, you don't think I want to sing for the Lord. Maybe, maybe if it was you, you're in the choir somewhere or you were in the sports show, you sing better than that. And if it was your birthday, you want somebody to sing better than that for your birthday. Who am I talking to in the house? Hallelujah. You are here in the Lord's house. Amen. You may not be good at singing, but give me your best voice. Hallelujah. Pretend like you, you, you about to you about to go for a rehearsal for the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to come back to that word rehearsal. Somebody say rehearsal. Rehearsal. We're going to come back to that, 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 that word right there. Let's go to this, to this right now. Breath of heaven, breathe on me, Lord. Breath of heaven, breathe on me. Breath of heaven, breathe on me, Lord. Breathe on me, Lord. Breath of heaven. Father, thank you for what's about to break loose in this house. Yes, Lord. I feel your presence here. Yes, Father. And Lord, I thank you for being with us today. Yes, Lord. Lord, let somebody hear a message that will transform their life. Amen. Lord, let somebody hear this message that will bring them to a new mentality. Amen. A new stage. Amen. Lord, there's somebody who's thirsty for a great move yes, in their life. Yes, Lord. Lord, sprinkle your grace over them. Amen. As you said, you're the God of all grace. First Peter 5.10. Yes, Lord. Lord, move in them. 
Let your grace be made known to them. Amen. Lord, let them not go the same way they entered here. Amen. Lord, let your anointing trickle down and break generational curse here. Amen. Lord, we give you all the honor and all the praise. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Say amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Give me a favor. Give me a favor. Let the enemy know that you're about to get your breakthrough by feeling down. Let the enemy know you're about to get your breakthrough by sitting down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something new is coming for somebody. Can we go to the book of 1 Samuel 10 verse 6? When we were in Bible study, the Lord spoke to us and said that we should engage in a three-day fast. And the two days were regular, and the last day there were to just be no food, no drinks. I know some people tried it. Who raised their hand earlier if you tried it? Congratulations, you went through it. I know you fought through it because there were some people trying to tempt you with some food, and especially on the last day, with some drinks and everything. And you over here saying, Lord, temptation's at hand. When you enter into fasting, that's when temptation got heavy. Amen. But I see that you have come out even looking better. You'll be greater as you continue to pursue this level in Jesus' name. So, so one of the reasons why God said for us to go up higher, there's some of you I said, bring all documents. That means bills. Who brought their bills? I said, bring all documents, bills, information, whatever it may be, bring all that is necessary for you to bring. Amen. So if you have brought those things, congratulations, we're going to be laying hands upon them. Amen. We're going to be doing what? Laying hands upon them. So if you bring your bills, congratulations. Amen. If you bring one of your old certificates from your high school, congratulations. Because we're going to lay hands upon them, you must go higher than just that. Amen. Hallelujah. You must pass the first level because of the second level, the third, and so forth, and so forth. Amen. So you got to pass one level to, what? to another. A lot of people don't know what it means to chase after greatness. No. Greatness is never given to you. You got to go and get it. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Are you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Greatness is what? Never it's never given to you. You got to go and get it. get it. A lot of people want something that's to be handed on to you. Sometimes greatness takes 20 years. Sometimes it takes 30. We saw that Jesus, it took 30. We saw Moses was 40. A lot of people, it takes more. But whatever God has for you, he will surely accomplish it. He will bring it to pass. Amen. But you have to also step out. Well, one of the reasons why they said Christ is the cornerstone. Because life, you got to start with one foundation. you got to start with one brick. If you're not willing to make that first move, God will not make a move for you. You'll be stuck in the same community, the same place. For many years, seeing the same friends, hanging out with the same friends for a long time, you might be thinking that you, your life made. But your life is not made, it's stuck, which we call stagnation. You're stagnated, nothing is working, nothing is progressing, and yet you think that what you're doing is the best. You are hopeless, because you have no hope. One of the reasons why God allow you to come today, there could have been other days that you could have come. Day that somebody else dedicate their baby, but God chose this day for you to hear this message because you got to come up from where you are. Amen. Say, neighbor, neighbor, you got to come up. 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 Now, I said we're going to come to that word. There was a word called rehearsal. One thing about rehearsal is that it prepares you for the big show, isn't it? It prepares you for what? Let's go to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1, 10, verse 6. Can we read it together as family? One, three, go. And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon me, and thou shalt prophesy with them, and that shalt return to another man. I love this part at the bottom. It says, shall be what? Turn into another man. There's somebody here. Today is your day to turn into another person. That means today is your is your transforming day. You've been personally this day to become what God marked for you to become. To become what? what to, become. to transform. Many of us, we still haven't finished high school. 
Many of us were afraid to even go for college. Many of us, it's a business idea we refuse to even pursue. I'm not picking on you, but I'm picking on you. Because you got to get out from that, that place. You got to come up higher. You say, well, no, nobody likes what I do. Well, move out of the one place that you are in. Go to another state. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said there was a certain woman, right? The woman in the well. She got fed up of all that was going on in her community. Then she met Christ. Then Christ said, what are you doing here? He said, you not only can worship here, you can worship another place. That means that you're not, not to stay in one place, but if you want to travel, travel to another place, then stay there and transform. And while you're transforming, learn to stay there for three months. You can't transform if you're not willing to be able to stay one place and transform for three months. That's the power. If you want to do anything great in life, learn to do it what? Stay in one place. If it's business, stuck with the idea for three months. If I fast in a brain, do it what? Three, three months. months. If you can't keep a job for three months, then what can you keep? Amen. Amen. Say neighbor. Neighbor. You're gonna keep a new level. You're gonna keep a new level. Because you're coming up. Because you're coming up. Say so you're coming up. You're gonna keep a new level. So here we find that it says, and the spirit of the Lord will do what? Will come, come upon you. Will do what? Come that means that he has not yet fallen upon you, but it's coming upon you. Yes. That when the spirit <laughs> of the Lord comes upon you, this is what will happen to you then. Right? It says, and what will happen? Thou shalt what? Prophesy with them. So the moment you come into greatness with other person, you should say, I want to be just like that. If you met somebody who got more money than you, said, I want to tap into that blessing right there. Amen. Don't hate on the person because we're, we're, we're practicing witchcraft. <laughs> Hallelujah. We hate on the person because they got more money and looks more better than us. Hallelujah. If it's one shoe that you have, appreciate that shoe. Come on, or that yeah. one clothe. Hallelujah. It, it's, not, it's not bad if you still smell good. It's only bad when you smell bad. Talk to me somebody. Amen. Amen. But here it says that you should come among them and prophesy. How many of you have literally prophesied to yourself? Amen. You may expect me to prophesy to you today, but you have to prophesy to yourself first. Amen. Amen. Because when you have the bold confidence to prophesy into your own life, then God open up your life for a greater. Amen. This is what it says here. With them, say prophesy with them. As long as you have one person, another person, that's a them. You came here today, not for a baby, but you came here to prophesy to them. Because the Bible said where two or more are got that. The Spirit of God is there. So the moment we're packed here, we got it here, we're supposed to receive something from God. Hallelujah. And then it says here, shall be what? Turn. So the fact that you are prophesying to the things that you are going through right now, and you're declaring that they must break, they must change, they must change, and you're telling it that you become another person. You, you must become another person. Now watch this here. Rehearsal is not the full show. It's the preparation before the show. So you have to rehearse about what you want to be in life. If you never learn to rehearse, you can never walk on the aisle. Oh, talk to me, somebody. I just need somebody a breakthrough one right there. You know you sit in your bedroom and you literally practice You do all the steps because you knew at one point in time you had to walk down the aisle. Amen. You don't know who it might be in the end, but you knew that somehow the steps are ordered by the Lord that's going to happen. Amen. Talk to me, somebody. First, you got to rehearse. You want to start a business? Rehearse being a businessman. You know, make it look real. Talk to yourself. Be the best actor. You can act long enough, and you can see it manifest right in front of you. Hallelujah. Some of you want to start businesses, but you have not yet even practiced to even say your business name. What if I tell you if you say your business name long enough to someone, they're going to believe you. I was telling my wife, Faith Embassy. I said, Faith Embassy. Faith Embassy to National Ministries. Faith Embassy to National Ministry. Long enough that I say Faith Embassy to National Ministry Revelation Church. Then I begin to get the whole image together. 
By the time I get the homies together, look who's here based on that name. Oh, you didn't get it. I said you are here based on the name. Amen. That means that I called you before you came here. Amen. You didn't come here for that baby. You come here for me and for the Lord today. Because I got work to do. That's why I didn't dress no fancy today. So come and talk to me. Amen. I saw this before I came here. Amen. Somebody need deliverance. Amen. Wow. Amen. You can't wear no fancy gown, no deliverance. Amen. And you sure can't wear no nice suit, no deliverance. Amen. I'm not here to be, to be showboating like I, I got fine, I got fine suit. That's my wife. <laughs> talk to me. I got some fine suits. You, you guys see me when I dress. I swag up. But I got swag down today because I got this some spirit in somebody's body. Hallelujah, somebody. So I got to break some stronghold today. If I don't break you down today, the next, the next 40 years of your life, you're a disgrace. You'll be a disgrace to your generation. And we don't want to be a disgrace to your generation. Hallelujah, somebody. So it must be a blessing to your generation. I might be somebody here. Someone is expecting you for your greatness. Someone is counting on you while you are just waiting for somebody else to just give you. Someone right now is depending on you. They are invisible. There was a time when I was depending on her when I didn't even see her. Then she came. Then now she's here. There was a time when I depend on the congregation. It was never there. But now it came. There's something that you need to depend first before you show up. I love the word deep end. You got to go to the deep end before you see it. Oh, are you understand the revelation there? You got to go to the deep end before you see it. You got to lose who you are now to find who you need to be. But if you refuse to lose who you are now, you'll be still going through the same cycle in life, facing the same problems, and they will never change because why? You refuse to go to the deep parts. Mm. Sometimes we, we, we want God to recognize us and break us through, when in fact, we need to recognize God to break through. So if you never re recognize your maker, how are you going to go higher? And here it says that you will come to a place where you will prophesy and you become another man. Look what it says in verse uh, number 11, no, Numbers 11, verse 17. Numbers 11, verse 17. Watch this here. What does it say? By the way, we, we have not yet go to the message. I'm just trying to get somebody to work. Because God said there are about five people that need to hear this word here said, you become another person. Amen. It says, and I will come down and do what? And talk to thee there. It says, and I will take what? Of the spirit which is upon thee and put it upon them. So guess what? When I'm going to be a preacher right now, someone here, God can take the anointing of my head and place it on you. Amen. Oh my goodness. Amen. Are you understanding? Yeah. That someone here, you have been thirsty, but your calling is not to be a motivational speaker. No. Your calling is to do God's work. Amen. And all it takes is this God just pour it over you. Amen. You will feel it before, before I say feel it now. Amen. Hallelujah. And guess what? There's somebody here, here who's good at something. God said, I'll take the spirit upon that person and I'll place upon that person. Amen. So you are here to prophesy to them. Amen. I understand it. And it says, it says, the spirit of which is upon thee and I will what? And will put it upon what? Upon them. It says, and they shall be, bear the burden of the people with thee. You know what it means to bear another person's pain? I know some of you don't, you don't even think about bearing another person's pain because you focus on yourself. Man, why would I want to bear that person's pain? But you know that the more you bear other person's pain, the greater the idea that God wants to do in your life. Can I tell you something? How many of you here go, go to work? You just bear somebody else's pain. And you get paid for it. So service do what? Pays. Service do what? Pays. So the more you feel the burden of another person, you get more pain. I know you never thought about it before. But that's what it is. You thought about the money, 
And the person said, take care of my pain first. If you can handle my pain, I will pay you for my pain. So guess what you did? You went to school for four years to come handle somebody's pain. <laughs> you went to school for eight more years to come handle another person's pain. So all throughout your life, you've been handling people's pain and you're getting paid for it. You just say, drop. When in fact you were a caretaker. Mm. When in fact you were a healer. Mm. You didn't get that revelation. So, so God has said this is a time where he's going to take one person's spirit and place another. Mind when you come to the house of God, there's no chance for you of demonic spirit too. It's only Holy Spirit. Come on, talk to me. Amen. So when you be like, like, man of God, hey, I want to. <laughs> there will not be no demonic spirit here. Hallelujah. I'll be casting it out by the grace of God. Amen. He said he would take the spirit. It is a demonic spirit. Right? He said the spirit, the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit come upon you, it turns you to another man. It calls you to, to, to what? To succeed. To become a success in life. Are you understanding me? Now watch this here. Because I want to I want to spring up. Go to uh, Numbers 11 verse 25. 11 verse 25. And I want you to read with me. Watch me, let's go. And the Lord came down in a cloud and spoke unto him. And took of the spirit that was upon him and gave it unto the seven elders. And came to pass. That when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. They prophesied and they did not cease. But it takes somebody to come from heaven. Are you understanding? See, and the Lord came down in a cloud. It would take the cloud where the Lord was would be in the cloud. And then rest upon this house here. You will feel in the atmosphere is charged. You will feel in the atmosphere something is about to just shake you up a little bit. And it's necessary because why? The spirit of the living Lord is here. And he will then rest upon some people. Some people here for the first time you may catch the Holy Ghost. You may speak in tongues for the first time. We are not strangers to those who have seen that happen here consistently, all the time. Amen? Amen. So, so God said, said, there's somebody here you can't run any longer. You've been running too long. It's time to cast the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because, because guess what? The Holy Ghost said, I'm not going to let you just run anymore. Yeah. He said, uh, I know some of you said, uh, <laughs> so this, this, this baby cut us like this, huh? <laughs> If the baby catch you like this, imagine how long God wanted to catch you. It takes a baby to catch you. My goodness, that baby is a smart baby. Somebody put, put your hand for Jesus. Put your hand for Jesus. It takes a smart baby to catch people. When, when you get out of here, make sure you buy that baby too. Some candy or something sweet. And if you don't want to buy the candy, sow the seed to the mother. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Because money is better than candy. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Give the last song. Don't just give the cat. Amen. <laughs> but I want to talk about something today. And I want to speed it up because we got to do some prayers. About coming up. God is calling people to come up. Not to stay the same. But to come up. Let's look at Jeremiah 46, verse 7 and 8. Many of the times, it takes when trouble comes, that's when we come up to a new place. Whenever we face trouble in our family, whenever we face trouble in our relationship, whenever we face trouble in our work, then we want to come up to a new place. Or perhaps when you see a rat, you want to hide to a new place or a high place. Or whenever you see something that is crazy, you, you're scared of the jump to find a what? A high place. What is scaring you that wants to take you to a high place? What are you afraid of that you want to jump to a high place? Some of us are afraid of heights, so we don't go to a high place. 
Many years ago, there was a flood and the levees break. And when the levees break, a lot of people will drown. A lot of people were looking for a place to go hide. It's the same thing in our life. Sometimes water has to come. But it's not always rain. It's the water from your own eyes. They have to fall sometimes, which bring pain for you to go to a new level. I've never met somebody who never went through pain and they go higher places. Even the degree that you get, you pay the price with tears mm -hmm. or blood for you to go to a high place. But I believe in God today that somebody here, God is going to give you the grace to go to the high place. He said, who is, who is this that cometh up as a flood? It's a question. Who are you that you want to come up to a high place? Who are you? Many of your greatness, it would take you to come up like a flood. And when a flood comes, it don't come regular. It's the same thing that God is saying that what I want to do in your life, I don't want to do it regular. I want people to see it coming, but it overtakes them. I want people to see you when you are at your lowest position. And when you keep on coming in life, you overtake them, they will not know what to do. Me and my wife believe in this, this theory here. Overtaking is allowed. We start small, we overtake. We don't look at what other people are doing. That's where many people go wrong. This generation want to look like the next person. If you want to be the next person, you should have come up as a twin. <laughs> Even then, you still would have missed it because your, your, your fingertips would, would not be the same. The fingerprints would not be the same. So why are you still stuck on looking at the next person? The next person create their own look, but you want to look at the next person. And here it says, it says, who is this that cometh up as a flood? When they asked for your family, they said, who is this person in the family that come up like this? There are people that want to know about how you come up in life. There are generational people that have been waiting for your good news. They are still waiting. They have not heard it yet. They are wondering if it's still a lie or if it's truth. If it's a lie, then you will not be alive. But since it's the truth, you must manifest. Amen. I said, since it's the truth, you must manifest. Amen. Now, how do you manifest? When you put eggs on water and you put the stove on long enough, the heat will come and turn it to become harder. Change to another person. The yolk is no longer uh, uh, um, liquid. But as the heat progress, it becomes solid. What does that mean in life? You have to go through some heat to become another person. You have to face some hard time to become a great person. Every man and every woman have transformed themselves by going through some heat. But you face some heat and then you are afraid. How can God change you? Even the Bible said, it said, it said after you suffer, there is a suffering involved. Please attach with me 1 Peter 5.10. There is suffering involved. This generation is so much lingering on, no, I don't want to suffer. <laughs> then they are stuck in one direction. Nothing seems to work. Then you get a job today, tomorrow you quit. But what the Bible said here. It said, but the God of all grace, who had called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after ye have what? Oh, talk to me. Say, neighbor, do you see that? After you have what? So you have to suffer a while. It's necessary. Let pain 
soak into your blood and then soak into your bones. Pain is necessary. The more pain you overcome, the greater you become in life. You are supposed to win over frustration. You don't let frustration frustrate you. You're supposed to win over madness. You don't let madness become you. So he simply says that, he said, after they have what? Suffer a, a while. And then this is what, what, what will happen to you after the, 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 the suffering comes. Right? Make you what? Perfect. So it's, it's not done with you yet. First you think that perfection is the best. You say no. Then what? Establish. Then what? Establish. Then what? Establish. Then what? Settle you. So when you see perfection, it doesn't mean that God settle you yet. Your prayer point should be, Oh Lord, settle me. I have so far a little while settled my life. Because the settlement is the ending point. So if you have not yet settled, if you have not yet been in a place of settlement, you need to cry out to God to settle you. It doesn't matter how old you are. There are people who are 50 years old, 60 years old. God has not settled them. They're still on phase two. Established. They are okay to establish me. And God said, no, come up higher. Come to strengthen. Come up higher. Come to what? Strengthen. Come to be settled. My prayer for somebody here today, you may be settled. Amen. You may receive the grace that settled you. Amen. The book of Jeremiah 14 and 40, 46, verse 7, going to 8. It said, who cometh as a flood? Whose water are, are, are moved? They are moved as what? As the rivers. If you ever see how river flow, God is saying that I want your, your water to flow like that. I want your life to flow like that. I want something new to manifest in you like that. Look at verse 8. That verse 8 said, it said, Egypt rise up like a what? Flood. Now, instead of Egypt, put your name on there. Are you putting your name on that? Yes. You rise up like a flood and what? So your waters will move like what? As a as a what? Rivers. As rivers, not just one river. Reverse. Reverse. So that means your breakthroughs will move like rivers. Amen. Your family, everyone in the family will move like rivers. Amen. They cannot be stopped because why? God already declared that you will rise up like a flood. Somebody here after today, you will rise up in your family like a flood. Amen. <laughs> People are going to be so shocked when they, when they, when they see the, the exploits that you're going to do. Amen. The great work that you're going to do. So it's, not, it's not about just standing at the altar here. There are prophets too who write books. Yes. But they're not called to prophesy, to preach. There are people who are in business, who are prophets in business. Mm. You see? There are people, when they are finished school, they, they, are, they are so great in their field that they don't play, we don't play with them. You don't take the nonsense to them because they are great in their field. Someone here, whatever field that you are working in, I prophesy to you, you're going to be great in that field. Amen. Nobody will tell you what to do because you are already the substance of that, that field. Amen. People are going to be marveled because of your greatness in that field. Amen. They will say, we, say, we have seen other people, but you, you are quite different because you came up on us like a flood. Amen. You came up like a flood. He said, like the rivers. He said, and he settled, and I will go up. He what? He said, and I will do what? Go up. I will do what? Go up. Say, never go up. Never go up. It's time for you to go up. It's time for you to go up. Whatever document issue, educational document issue, marital document issue, or financial document issue, whatever. It's time for you to. Uh, some of you like when, when they say stacks on stacks. You like when money does pack up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Then you do like the fools do. Put, put the money on your on your ear like you're talking to somebody. <laughs> Let them hear me now. I got money on my ear. Can money talk? No. It's Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. But here, God said, it's time to come up. Right? Say, so we'll come up and we'll do what? We'll cover the earth will cover you. When God's blessing hits you, he will cover you. Yeah. You will feel like you're drowning when in fact, 
It is the blessings of God. Watch this here. You feel like you're going through pressure and pain, but in fact, it's the blessings of God. So that the blessing of God is too heavy for us to handle. That's what they call it, the heavy glory. When the heavy glory of the Lord rests upon you, you feel like, can I really do this? Am I able to? But God says, I want to strengthen your back. I'm going to strengthen your feet to do it. Everything that I've already prepared is in you. Amen. You are the full package. You just got to turn it up. Amen. You got to go from liquid into hard. You got to start taking things serious. Mm. You got to stop the, the, the games. Mm. When I was a child, I, was, I, I played as a child. But when I mature, I become a different person. Amen. You got to become a different person. Amen. Many people have, have recognized you for one behavior. Mm. Somebody say, turn it up. Turn it up. Become another person or not. Many people after today, they will not recognize because you have turned it up. Amen. You were on level two, you're about to hit it on level ten. Amen. They will say, uh, there's a sudden change on this person, we don't recognize. There's a what? Sudden change. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then it says here, it says, it says, and I will destroy the city and inhabitation and thereof. That means that God has to destroy what you already built before. God, for the past 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, whatever years, you were building you, but you were not building me in you. Mm. God said it's time for me to begin to build in you. Yeah. That when I come in, you will completely shut down other things. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. God wants to build up on somebody here. Yeah. My prayer is that you will not, you will not say no. Yeah. That you say, Lord, I'm ready. And you say, Lord, I'm ready. Look at, look at um, Isaiah. Isaiah 4, verse 2. It says, On that day, the branch of the Lord will be beautiful, glorious, and the fruit of the land will be the pride and glory of Israel. God said, I want to do some things in your life. On that day, this is the day. Today is not tomorrow. He said, on that day. Let's read one, two, three, go. In that day uh -huh. shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious. Be what? Beautiful and glorious. When you become another person, you have to become beautiful and glorious. Oh my goodness. Say, neighbor, I prophesy to you. Neighbor, I prophesy to you. Receive your beauty and your glory. Receive your beauty and your glory. Somebody say you glow different. You glow different. Say you receive beauty and glory. You receive beauty and glory. In one day you receive beauty and glory. In one day you receive beauty and glory. Say neighbor. Neighbor. 2020. 2020. I feel something here. I feel something here. I feel something here. In one day you receive two blessings. In one day you receive two blessings that people in your family never receive. And then it says here. In that day shall the branch. It is a branches. First thing is so important is that God will make sure you look good before the next person catches. Yeah. Can, can I, can I, can I, can I, I feel the anointing is about to hit somebody here. You are focusing so much on building the family God said built you. Amen. God said if you don't build you tomorrow, all that will shame on you. Others will laugh at you because why? You were so focused on building the family, you couldn't build you. They are educated. They are smart. You sit on class one. You on class two. They already on 20. Wow. You think it matches. No, no, it never matches. There's 18 years difference. Hallelujah, somebody. Imagine somebody is 20 years old and, and, and you are in two years old. The level of age, you see how different it is. The, the guy. Yeah. There are people's mentality like two years old. Yes. Yeah. Because they're focusing on other people rather than themselves. Mm. If you don't focus on building you, you will not establish God's greatness in you. Yeah. Maybe it's for you people here. Because I see angels walking back and forth in the spiritual room all over your heads. I don't know. There's a bad behavior God's going to break. Yeah. God, yeah. especially you, you, your father, your father. May God give grace for his family. Amen. Because the suicide spirit that wants to enter. 
I need to pray for you. What's your name, young man? Jonathan. Jonathan. I don't know. Uh, uh, I was talking about Jonathan earlier. There was something I was writing. How David, David, after he almost killed Saul, he cut off Saul's garment. He could have taken Saul's life right there, but he spared Saul's life. I mean, there's some people in your life that want to take you out. I'll prophesy to you, your life will be the same. Amen. I'm not, the Lord just really spoke to me this morning about, about David and Jonathan, where there's a friend of you that's jealous, that you need to be very watchful. And so he said here, he says here, right, and, and of what? And of the, the Lord be what? Beautiful and glorious. And the fruit of the earth shall be what? Excellent. Shall be what? Excellent. That means that God said, when I finish with you, you're going to be excellent. Amen. Everything about you is excellent. The way you talk, the way you walk, the way you do things, even if you look great to other people, but it's excellent to me. And what says it? And what? And comely for what? For them that are escaped. God said, I'm going to let you escape, and I'm going to make your life look wonderful. Wow. I'm going to make that wonderful. He said, neighbor, that, that's not for you. That's for me. Anyway, that's, for that's for me. So I'm going to take that one. That's, that, that's a prophetic word for me. Amen. I'm going to escape and become beautiful. Yes. I'm going to escape and become wonderful. Amen. Isaiah 9 verse 6. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. I love this here. God never give inheritance to children. God never give inheritance to who? To children. Because they're babies. They would not know how to handle the inheritance. That's why it's unto us a son. You have to be a son first. Sons are people who are mature. We have seen in the Bible that, that they, were, they were the particle sons. The particle son. And God said, he said, look, this boy here is not serious. He's getting it too good. Sometimes you got to leave your mother's house and your father's house and suffer a little while for you to respect what your mother has. Respect what your father has. Then will you take care of their business? Amen. Are you understanding me? I know some of you, you, you don't like my, my, my situation because I'm not, I'm not making quacking jokes today. Because <laughs> you, you used to that when I crack jokes, one or, one or two ribs will be, will be bending on the side. But today there's no cracking of ribs. Today it's coming up higher. Amen. When you come up higher, there's no joke. Amen. When you come up higher, there's no playtime. So you see, when you see a mountain climber is playing around, he will fall and crash. Yeah. And his head will be the, the one to just cut on the floor. Mm -hmm. I understand me. There are some people here, God said, I have played with you for too long. I can't play anymore. Mm. If I leave you, you'll be finished. Wow. If I leave you, you'll be finished. When God left Saul, Saul was finished. Wow. Saul, Saul knew that he was finished. Because he knew the presence of God was no longer with him. Mm. Some of you, the presence of God is no longer with you. And God give you one more chance to be here. Amen. Take this opportunity and run with it. There was a moment I met the prophet of God. I took the moment he gave me one day. Five minutes. Boy, I run to that altar. That man smacked my head. I felt fire all over my bones. <laughs> <laughs> Not like people will never be smacking your head. That's where I got it from. <laughs> I'm going to transfer. So when you be like, bah! man, oh Lord. No. <laughs> Understand that deliverance that's come upon you. Amen. That's so funny. <laughs> For unto us, I was talking about how sons are the one who take the inheritance. For God so loved the earth that he gave his only begotten sons. Sons receive inheritance, no children. You, 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 you want the five cars, the beautiful mansion. Those are inheritance for people who are mature. Mm. You still on, and let's go to the globe. And let's go and uh, bust some wine and then drink everything. Let's go to, to that person's house and smoke the weed and take some coke and all the things. You onto those things. You're not ready yet. You're not ready yet. Yeah. 
How can God give you big blessing when you're still on little things? Mm. Well, you are 20 some years or close to 30 and you're still worried about where's the club at? Mm. <laughs> 30 years old. You are, you are 30. You still want to go pack bottles. You should be popping revelations to better your life. They now love me today, oh man of God. They now love me today. Usually they say, man of God, go ahead. Be, 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 be. Be, but today you're gonna to have the other side to Jesus. Oh, Jesus. God's got all that money, first of all. Remember the days when I used to go to the club? Yes, it was so long ago. Hallelujah. You paid 20 to go inside. Then he paid 20 for ice and water. It was no ice and drinks. That $40, that $40, you're going to prepare that 40 for something great. You're going to buy an idea online. Read upon it, study on it. But then, how many times? There are people who even go to the club twice a week. They go on Friday night. Some people go when they call it Thirsty Thursday. They must go and taste the thirst. <laughs> if I'm lying, say amen. If I'm not lying, say amen. amen. So you know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> so the more you spend in those days, all your money goes to simple things that mean nothing. Then you're not right. Man of God, pray for me for financial breakthrough. That devil is a lie. <laughs> what, financial, what, financial, what financial prayer? Then now when the money comes, you'll be looking like the money. The altar is dry. They say, man of God, continue the good work of faith. The Lord shall, the Lord our God shall richly bless you. I'm like, mm hmm bless it. <laughs> if the Lord that bless thee, then that shall bring the blessing unto thee. Amen. Duplicates the, 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 the blessing. So just receive, also give. So I say, amen. amen. Sons are the ones who receive the blessing. And the Bible said that when you finally receive the blessing and you pass the blessing to other people, the night becomes an inheritance because you have gone higher and then you pass it. They are level in life. When you're 10 years old, all you need to do is play. Hallelujah. Add more 10 on that. What is that? 20 is when you begin to prepare to even finish in school. Add another 10, was that? 30. When you're 30, that's when you prepare to even settle down. Yeah. Add another 10 of that, was that? 40. Now, when you're at a 40 level, that's when you make all the money and begin to develop. Amen. Add another 10 of that, was that? 50. When you are 50, now you pass on the revelation. Amen. Now you have a seminar where you teach what you just learned over the past 50 years. But if you are 50, you have nothing to share to on the earth. You are a failure. <laughs> I don't even like when I say that. I said, if you're 50, you have nothing to share with the earth. You just failed. I know, Smith, you're not going to say amen. Yeah. I'm on an oil. When I'm on that, when I, talk, I talk it. Somebody say, if you see it, you say it. See, 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 see. The Lord said, if you are 50 plus and you have not passed on anything to your children, you just fail in life. Because He gave you something, you carelessly waste it. So you who are 30, it's time to wake up. Mm -hmm. If you are 25, you are close to the 30. Wake up now to be those who are 30. Amen. By the time those who are 40 wake up, you're already surpassing them. Amen. This message may not be sweet for your ear, but it be sweet for your heart. Amen. Because it's not your ear, you need to hear it. Because many have spoken to you, you are deaf. <laughs> but it is your heart that needs to receive it. Amen. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. If it's lie, many have set you down, give you good advice, you didn't take it. Mm. Many even give you an idea, you didn't take it. Then you cry financial hardship. Then you cry my children are bad. Then you cry this is not working. It's not working because an idea already failed you and passed on. Yeah. Ideas, when they come, work on it. No matter how long it takes, work on the idea. There was a man, I won't say his name here, but he said every summer with his father, 
they build a wall. That's all they do every summer. He go with his father, they build a wall. To put one brick at a time. One brick at a time. All throughout the summer, they build a wall. Now why is he building a wall? His father was putting something in his head that don't rush when you want to make perfect things in life. Put one brick today. Let others laugh you when it's fully done. The ones who laugh are the ones not in the opposite way while you are gone doing something else. Now you block them. They can never come to you anymore because you have been putting a wall all along. And that wall is education. Have you ever seen somebody who just went to college become something great? They don't talk to their bougie friends anymore. They don't talk to the people anymore. If they still talk to them, that means that they're still in a kindergarten mentality. Because an educated mind don't stay with people who are fools. You like-minded mind get with like-minded people. People who are great get along with people who are great. You never see a great person around stupid people. Never. You spent all those years becoming wise, then now you go back to the same place, being dumb. So why do you go to school? Why do you spend all that money? You have an idea. You, you tell your friend, your friend says, that's a dumb idea. You believe your friend, who's dumb, telling you that's a dumb idea. A dumb person knows no truth. No do they have wisdom. So if you have an idea, don't tell your friend. You do it yourself. Do it until your friend said, that's a wonderful idea. How come you never told me? Oh, it skipped my mind. <laughs> because you know, if you, if you tell them, they're going to make you look like you're nothing. Yep. Hallelujah. So God says, put your life in order. The Bible says, draw near to God, then God will draw near to you. It's never God draw near to you, and then God says, Thank you. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm into you now. Now, I want to do what I'm going to do. No, God said, because of your will, that will be done, that kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. That means that whatever you're supposed to do on this earth, it's already planted in the heavenly realm. The Bible says, whatsoever you loosen in heaven, should be loosened on the earth. Whatsoever you bind here, binding means you got to let go some bad behavior. Bind the bad behavior. Bind the uselessness and become a worthy person. Amen. When you bind it, you will see how great you look. Hallelujah. Amen. I had to bind some uselessness in my life. Because the one I get married, she was not useless. Because <laughs> if, if I didn't bind that one, she would be binding me every day. <laughs> and when I would find a woman, find a man that will bind you. Take the best out of you. Yeah. Some of you don't like the people that you're involved with because the best is not in you. So, you know, there was a man that said, he said, he said, he said, you have to get a jacket bigger than you sometime so you can grow in it in time. So we married some women who are bigger than us. <laughs> but we have to grow with them as time. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. <laughs> Come on, now you know you married somebody that, you know, or you date with somebody right that's bigger than you in mentality, bigger than you in your heart. You're just like, man, she knows everything. I God put that person in your life. I feel like Adam, Eve knew too much. And Adam was just like, I'm tired of this person. She knows too much. <laughs> she knows too much, man. Every time we're, we're having a conversation, she said, oh, this has to get done. Oh, how do you know? I was the last created. So God put everything in me. Somebody, that's, that's, your, that's your portion. Amen. I said, that's your portion. Amen. Somebody, you, you're going to tell your, your, your husband, uh, don't worry, my dear, you're not dumb. You're just... You're just not at the level of wisdom as I am. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. It is sons who take inheritance. That's why the Bible said, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtain favor from the Lord. It is the he that gets the inheritance. That's when a woman is married to a man, the inheritance comes quicker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means that God said, it's time for you to go to the next level. Yeah. It's what? And the Bible says, for unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. Why his shoulders? Why his shoulders? Stress comes first on the shoulders. Heavy burden comes on the shoulders. 
So that when you're fully charged with that heavy burden, then not only sons can say, I'm ready to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. And you must master your heavy burden for God to do wonders in your life. Amen. Don't cry because you have a heavy burden. Grow the shoulders stronger. That's why you see most young men, they, their shoulders are, are beginning to sprawl. They, 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 they have these big shoulders. Why? Because all the heavy burden must come on that for them to stand strong. And the Bible said here, and his name shall be called what? Wonderful. Hallelujah. Say wonderful. wonderful. First thing is there, he said wonderful. It's never just wonderful counselor. He said wonderful first. So there's no last name there. The last name is not, it's not counselor. The second name is counselor. So you can, you, you can name your child counselor. Imagine wherever your child goes, he counsels, he counsels everybody. <laughs> hey, hey, anyone counsel in the house? I want to counsel everybody else. Don't, don't, don't counsel anymore. <laughs> and it says here, then the next name is what? Mighty God, everlasting Father, the Prince of what? Peace. Those are the names. Those are all important names that carry blessing. Those are important names that carry inheritance. Inheritance. Sons. Isaiah 11 verse 1. Let's be what you go. And there shall and there come forth a rod out of the stem, Jesse. And a branch shall grow out of its roots. That means something fruitful must come out of you. Imagine your whole life. Nothing fruitful come out of you. Everybody here that look at you, you, you perhaps you went to school with some people, college, whatever business, whatever you did with some people, they are elevating you, you are stuck in the same place. You're wondering why God has not elevated me. How comes have not seen the fruitful part of God? Then there's some people whose family, they literally held them down. The, the heavy burden. They never prosper. Anything they want to do, brings them down. Every blessing they want to inherit, brings them down. They go through what I call the patterns of life. Whatever happened to the mom, happened to them. Whatever happened to the dad, happened to them. They tried so hard to break the pattern, the pattern could not break. Why? Because they are carrying a heavy load. Sometimes it takes God to send somebody to pull the heavy load from you. And when you have that opportunity, you take it. There are many people who I meet on a regular day. Sometimes on the phone. Many of you have probably spoke to you on the phone the first time. And the Lord spoke to you. You can take care of that. Let's take care of that. And the Bible said here, it says, And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem. The rod is a symbol of guidance. You shall be guarded. You shall be guarded to where to go. How to get it done. And don't be afraid when somebody guards you and helps you along the way. At the end of the day, it's not for them, but it's for you. When Jesus was, was coming up in life, he found out that, that John the Baptist could help him. And John the Baptist helped him. He knew where to go. He knew how to come back. You need, you need people who can tell you what's going to happen over there when you get there. And you need people to pray on your behalf because it's not easy when you go there. Mm -hmm. And even to get there is not easy. Many of you have known you for five years. But if I look at where we started and where you are now, far different. Mm -hmm. Because why? You are being guarded to get to that place. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to celebrate some of you soon. Amen. Because you are almost there. Amen. Some of you came for three months and you're here to four years. And you are, you are, you are cashing it because you just just four years of just sitting in the house of God. And four years of you becoming a wonder. Four years. Some of you have your master's degree. When you study, it's like undergrad. Some of you, like the finance was heavy for you to get. 
but God proved that he is God. Brings the money, you came up higher. He showed himself, you come up higher. So what God is saying here is, a branch shall grow out of his what? His roots. Something must come out of you. That's like how some of your nails grow. You don't even know how your nails grow. But every week, two weeks, something just poke out. Or you just go and get some, I don't know, to get the meow effect. But God grow some nails out of you. Some of us are here. God grew our hair. How? God said, I want to do a new thing. And it shall spring forth. I want to do something that will make other people admire who you are. Hallelujah. But God says, it's time to come up. Time to come up. Isaiah 11 verse 1. Right there. Let's go to Isaiah 53 verse 2. God said, you got to come up. Sometimes, you know how hard it is when you're trying to come up and there's this heaviness, there's this pain, there's this aching, you're trying to burst through to come up. Mm. It hurts. It hurts. It says, for he shall what? Grew up before what? Before him as a ten of plants. That means that some, some God is saying that it's time for you to come up from the ground as a tender plant. People are not expecting you. Right? It was a saying that, you know, they, 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 they buried me, they forgot that I'm a seed. Mm. And you got to grow out. Not grow up, but grow out. Be so different that others have to now admire God's wonder in your life. You are a point of contact for somebody else's breakthrough. Mm -hmm. On Christmas Day, we open boxes, right? Why do we open boxes to find out the gift inside? What about you? Have you opened your life to find out your gift inside? Mm -hmm. If you come to me and God is using me, I went through suffering to be this person. And I'm still going through suffering because I fully not manifest yet. Mm -hmm. When I'm fully manifest, that's when now God said raise millions. Mm -hmm. Now I'm only raising four or five. Six and seven. When I fully manifest, thousands will come. Amen. So we are at the stage of coming out from that one place to a high place. Amen. But you have to see the potential before someone tell you potential. Mm. You don't even need to tell you how great you're gonna be. See that money great. I'm letting go of the bad habits. Some people some things are not just you know bad habits, people are people. Some of your own fathers, your own mothers, your own sisters, let them go. Go somewhere for two years. <laughs> go develop yourself and come back and visit them. You will see them in the same place, doing the same thing, yell about the same place or the same thing. You haven't put food in the fridge. They yell about that two years ago. They still yell about it now. <laughs> and they will yell about that one two years later. But if you go, when they said, you haven't put food in the fridge, said, take, take $4,000. Let's go put something in there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Someone is not ready to be prosperous here. Amen. Hallelujah. And now when, when you got a good job and you're doing well, you're able to pull other people out of stronghold. Amen. But you can't pull them out when you are still in the same struggle. Mm -hmm. That's what fools do. You try to help somebody else, but you haven't pulled yet the speck on your own eye. Pull the speck from your own eye and then develop them. Amen. Somebody say Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So he says here, right? He says, and as the root, the root out of a dry what? Dry ground. Someone's life is dry. God said, I'm going to have to pull them out of that dry ground. Let's read from the, from the area of dry ground. And he, he has he no form for compliment. So God said, you have no form. But guess what? God will mold you. When God molds you, you become different. Mm -hmm. Right? Back in the days, you used to have a teapot. The teapot must be molded with clay. Mm -hmm. Then put into the fire. Fire has to go through the teapot. Then the fire come out again. They see any, any little crack on the teapot, they put another clay again, and they put the teapot right back into the fire. 
until that teapot becomes solid, where it could contain, it could hold whatever they put inside of it. So right now, if God pours something great in you, are you able to contain it? Or are you going to leak it out? Are you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. God said, I want to put a doctor inside of you. Mm-hmm. And he's like, no, I'm going to leak it out. I want to put a, a business person inside of you. No, 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 I'm going to leak it out. Because you, 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 can't, you can't keep things sealed. Mm. I don't know, you can't keep secret. Mm. God is a God of secret. He doesn't share his secret with everybody. Mm-hmm. That's what he says. He says, he says, he says I, I, I reveal my secret to the prophet. Mm. See, if God would to reveal major things in your life, he could have told you, but he didn't tell you. You have to tell the prophet because you got too much of his mouth. Once you hear it, hey, guess what? The, the Lord said I'm gonna become a great person in life, and they said I'm gonna have five houses and and a gorgeous woman, a gorgeous uh, lady. Say, oh, wow, God said that. Yeah, the fact that you share with that person blocks. Because the same person you share with, they envy you because you just told them a good news. Wow. Now you over here praying, hey, Father. My, my good news, I must get married at 45 or 30. Oh, Father, my husband must be 5 foot 8. He must have strong back. He must have a car. He must have a house. Yes, Lord. God said, this one is talking too much. He said, I'm not going to do it because you already spoiled my plan. You already spoiled my plan. Said, I love it when you, when you know my secret and you kept it secretly. And then when we work one step at a time, Right? But if your mouth is open and tell everybody it's your business, the hearts of men are wicked. Mm-hmm. God said, I want to call you up. And when I call you up, I don't want you to talk too much. When I call you up, I don't want you to talk too much. Have you ever seen professors when they're talking? The whole, the whole students are talking? No, because they are professing. Professing, they're the only one at the top. God said, I want to make you a, a professional. Mm-hmm. That you are the only one at the top. But are you willing to go up higher? Are you willing to surpass your weakness? Are you willing to surpass your shame? Your arrogance, your pride? Mm-hmm. Are you willing to let go of, of certain bad behavior and say, Lord, I want to go higher? I know someone like the Holy Ghost is he just he's beating you up right now. I don't know who you are, but but I see a, a lady in the realm of the spirit. Don't look at just. <laughs> God is just beating some people today, eh? but it's necessary because you haven't heard what God said in a while. Mm-hmm. And I come to the last passage here, Isaiah eight verse seven to eight. Isaiah eight verse seven to eight. And I want us to stand up and pray. If I stand up with me, stand with me. Stand up for me and stand with me. I want you to read the scripture. We're going to pray. I pray the Lord has been faithful to you. I pray that you heard his word today. Are you ready to read it? Want to be let's go? Now therefore, behold the Lord bringeth up upon them the waters of the river, strong and many, even the king of Assyria, and his glory, and he shall come up over all his channels, and go over all his banks. Now I want you to say it again. This time, imagine now God is talking to you, a personal prophetic word to you. A personal prophetic word to you. There are some banks that you have. Perhaps your bank account is empty, but there's some banks that you have. Some bank cards that you have. Imagine the word bank meaning that you got many businesses that you have. Or perhaps you want to do a business, start to call it from out of nowhere into something. And it says here, once we just go, it says, Now, now therefore, therefore, behold, the, the Lord, Lord bringeth up upon them the brings waters what? of the river. Brings what? Well, look at the time. It says, Now therefore, behold, the Lord brings up upon them the waters of what? Now, behold, God will begin to do the impossibility. Make it possible. Say that. That one is impossible. 
you at, at 25 buy a house. It's impossible. <laughs> you at 34 bought a house, have a business, and you're hiring over 40 people and you're paying them every two weeks. Wow, that's so that. It's impossible. But God said, now, therefore, behold, the bring forth, the Lord bring forth, right? The, the Lord bring up upon them the waters of the river. That's one river. All you need is one chance. All you need is one idea. All you need is one Christ. And all crises will end. All crises will end. And it says, strong and many. Even the king of, of stay with me now. And Whose channels? His. Whose channels? His. You find one person who got it? You just said, I'm just here to help you. You don't begin to help that person. Watch how God use you to master what they know. And then they hire you as a second in command. Oh, Lord. I'm, there's an anointing to stop on somebody here. Because I saw you scratching your head like this rapidly. I mean, anointing does, I don't know who you are, but you, you, your life does, does, does change. Amen. Because that's what it says right here. Right? It says strong and many. Strong and many. That means that you're going to be strong. And many shall come out of you because you're strong. Amen. And then it says, you know, it says, even the king of that land, right? It says, and it says, in all his glory, the person you're expecting to bless you, he will give you one thing, but it'll be an impartation of his glory. Right? We see with Abimelech, right? With Sarah, he gave, because Sarah was just, was just with him, Sarah received many gifts, including Erga, that caused the problem later on. So God is saying, I want to give you many gifts. Mm -hmm. But are you willing to just have the first one? Mm -hmm. And then it says here, and he shall come up over all his channels. Mm -hmm. Imagine all of a sudden you wake up one morning, you got a chef. <laughs> you got a butler. <laughs> you, 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 you don't need to open your car anymore. Somebody opened the car for you. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That that you don't choose your clothes. Somebody chooses it for you, and then and then they said, "Oh, just try this one," and you just put it on. Yeah. <laughs> right? They put it on on you. There was a there was a movie scene in Coming to America where they were they were brushing his teeth and they were handling all his business for him, and he fell out. Oh, all king type. Then 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 they clap their hands and they come. And they clap their hands and they go. There's some people here, all you want to do is. That's a prophetic for somebody here. If you can snap it, that's your own game. Amen. I say, if you can snap it, that's your own game. Amen. I, I didn't say, don't say amen. I say, if you can snap it, that's your own game. Amen. My God, my God, my God. So, so God said, I'm going to give you the channels. Channels of places. Of things you can get more than one. In one channel, you get one blessing. In one channel, you get connection that connects and connect and connect. God said, I want to open doors for you, but are you willing to connect? I want to give you the channels, but are you willing to walk? And it says it and go over all his banks. Right? God put a book in my heart many years ago called Millionaire. It doesn't sound like the word millionaire, but it's a meal. If you ever see meals, meals go over. And meals have different areas, different connections. God said, He said, when you have one idea, it pours into another idea. When you have one idea, it pours into another idea. That for the rest of your life, ideas continue to pour. You need one idea that gives you another idea. 
Are you ready to pray? Yes. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I must come up higher. I am ready to come up higher. I am ready to come up higher. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Matakatilia. Rapaka. Rasakatalabasata. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I am ready to come up higher. I am ready for that new place. I am ready for that new place. I am ready for that inheritance. Rapakalabasata. Lepe peregere mo sarawa, rapa ya para no mo sata, repe ri karabare. I am ready to come up higher. I am ready to come up higher. I am ready to come up higher. Hey, I am ready. Let the flood gates be open. Lord, I am ready to arrive. I am ready to show up and show out. I am ready. 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 Lord, I am ready. I am ready to come up higher. I am ready. Lord, you have chosen me. I am ready. Lord, many could have done what I'm doing, but you called me. I am ready to go up higher. In my business, I am ready to go up higher. In my finances, I am ready to go up higher. In that new idea, I am ready to go up higher. Lord, change my situation. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. Le pa i para kosi la sade. Le pa para kada ba de yade. I am ready to go up higher. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. I don't know about other people, but I am ready. I want to take it to yourself. Say, I am ready. Say, Lord, I am ready. Lord, I am ready. And for me, I am ready to go up higher. I am ready to go up higher. Le paya katalabaya. Le pa katobiya kaparekede. Le ziko brohoko bora kataya. I am ready to go up higher. Ita kata kata kata. Rasi kata yalaba lakota. I am ready to go up higher. I am ready to go up higher. I am ready to go up higher. My, my God, my Father, you call me higher, I'm going. You call me higher, I'm walking. You call me higher, I'm stepping. Let me get a little bit of water. 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 Let in Jesus name we pray the Bible said in the book of Jeremiah 46 verse 7 going to 8 it says who is this that cometh that cometh up like a flood he said who is this that cometh up as a flood we are going to declare I am I am I am I'm the one that's coming up higher. They don't see me coming, but I'm going to come. I'm going to come up like a flood. I'm going to come. You know what flood do, right? Flood never come up. It never just come up from, from up above you or to the side of you. It come underneath you. So you say, Lord, let me float. Who, whoever ride an uh, elevator here, have you ever got to an elevator? You press the button. 
and the button does take, you don't even got to rush, you, got, you ain't got to gotta stress. God just said, press the button. What number? Mm. We on 2020. So Lord, I want that 2020 number. Let that number be pressed. I am floating, I am going up higher. It is me that is coming up. It is me. I don't know who I'm talking to here. It's, there are some things you need to beat your chest. It is me. I am the one that is going higher. I am the one that is going higher. It doesn't matter about other people, but I am the one that is going higher. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I am the one that is going higher. Going higher in that education. Going higher in that business. It may not seem to be right now, but you are the one that is going higher. In your family, you are the one that is going higher. In the name of Jesus Christ, many have doubted you. Many have put you down. Many have ignored you. But I'm come to give you a revelation. It is you that is going higher. It is you that is going higher. It is you that is going higher. In your family, it is you that is going higher. It is time for you to go higher. It is time for you to go higher. The Lord is calling you higher. Higher blessing over your family. I pray every curse over your life. Rakata kata. Bring him up, bring him up here. Lepa kata kala barakata. It is time for him to go higher. You must become a great man. You must be a leader for your generation. Rakata kata kata. Get the oil, get the oil. Come here, come here, my son, come here. God is going to do wonders in your life. God will do wonders in your life. I release you. Hakata kata ya. Repe se rekete. Bring him up, bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. Reka ya bakata. I break the curse. I break the curse over your life. Alaka ya balaka di ha. I decree and declare the blessing of God come upon you now. Yes. I break it. I break limitations. I break limitations. Fire of the Lord God Almighty. I release a fresh oil. A fresh oil. A fresh oil. Life transformation. From this day forward, I prophesy. Your lifestyle will change. Your lifestyle will change. Any death has escaped out of you. I break that spirit of curse. Curses are breaking. Curses are breaking. Rakata kata kata kata. Lepe pe pe lepe pe. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. The Lord is going to do wonders in your life. You are delayed for ten years. I see stagnation all over you. Let it break. Uh, people will not use you and leave you. Have children and leave you. I break the curse. Bring her here, bring her here, bring her here. Lay back at her. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Give me. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, that curse that's placed upon the family, that Abrahamic curse, that Abrahamic curse that was placed, that another woman came in the father's house, that caused destruction, that that curse came upon the family and upon the children, children, Lord, by your anointing, I pray the curse. I break it, 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 I break it. You will not be used, you will not be used. Break, break, out. Fire, 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 fire. I break it, I break it. Lift your voice, begin to pray, begin to pray. Say, I must go up higher. I must go up higher. I must go up higher. My time has come. This is my moment, I must go higher. Are you, are you out of school? Are you out of school? For two years. For two years. God is telling you a situation. Because I am seeing a spirit that has been hindering you. You, you are feeling like you, 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 are, you are being held mentally. But it, it, this is the curse that's placed upon your family. And this curse started with your mother. Anything your mother puts her hands on is not able to prosper. But this also will pull upon you.
As you started school, you almost come back. You started, you come back. And I'm seeing that they, they, I'm seeing that opportunity want to go back for two, two, two times. But I want to break it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to break it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know. I don't know. They call like uh, uh, the, the place where people go for, to, to, to master like uh, uh, hair products, uh, uh, nail products, salon like this. Uh, uh, for color deal like this. I'm seeing you in a, in, a, in, a, in a class like that. And you're learning. And I see many people calling your name. And I see people calling you for like clients and calling from different states. And I heard the Lord said, the curse must be broken. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. But I, I heard the Lord said, there is a lady by the name of Miriam. Miriam. That is going to connect to your life. That is going to open your life. Who is Miriam? You don't know Miriam? Miriam is coming. And when Miriam comes, all your friends will change. Amen. Hey! Bring her here. 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 Holy Spirit. Change that situation. Break the curse. Break the curse. Amen. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, touch. La Sakata. Repeketekete. Ra Sakata. Ra Sakata. Le Pakopa Akate. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Break the strong man. Yes, that strong man. Le Pakata. Say, my father, my father. My level must come. I must rise up. I must not fall. And I will never fall. I will rise up. I will rise up. I will rise up. In the name of Jesus. My father, my father. I will rise up. In the name of Jesus. The weapon of the enemy have been broken from my back. Every strong man. Have been released from me in the name of Jesus. Let me get in here, young man. Come here. I am seeing you in the realm of the spirit. That's right here for me. In the realm of the spirit, every time you're about to get a breakthrough, it's as if it's a face before you. You are able to see other people go forward, but you are not able to go forward. I'm even seeing you deal with technology, computer stuff like this. Amen. And you're not able to go forward. Amen. But I heard the Lord said that I should pray for you. That it shall break from you. Amen. And that that word of Jericho Amen. from your father's house. Amen. That no man survive to do greatness must break from you. Amen. I break it. Makata katosh. Rekata. He is brilliant. This man is a, is a wizard of knowledge. He has so much wisdom. Bring him here. <laughs> Do you have a daughter? I see a warning sign in the realm of the spirit that you should be careful. Mm? Have you met a woman from Congo? Mm? A dark skinned woman from Congo. Be careful. Mm? For the enemy wants to put you backwards. I break it from you. You will not enter that realm. You will not enter that realm. You will be faithful. Pray! 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 Fire! Say, my father, my father, my mother's curse is not my own. My mother's curse, come here. My mother's curse 
own. It's not my own. I will not be as they are. I'm breaking free. I'm breaking free. I'm breaking free. I'm breaking free. Yes, yes, take it, take it, take it, take it. Leda, 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 I must come up higher. My season has come. Say, my season has come. The Lord said I must come up higher to a position where no one has ever been before. I must come up higher. I pray for you. Come up higher. Bring her here, bring her here, bring her here. Bring her here. The glory of the Lord must be upon you. Bring her here. What happened to the healthcare business? I'm seeing a healthcare business in your hand. And I saw you partnering with a white lady. And the Lord said to me, I should warn you, there is a problem. Leave her, 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 leave her. If she wear it, it's a reason why she wear it. She won't have to receive it, but she wear it. Hallelujah. Now, in the realm of the spirit, I saw many, many business plans, but it's like all failures. All failures. That you partner with this, this white lady, and as I'm seeing her, I'm hearing her name is like Jessica. But as you partner with Jessica, nothing seems to even move forward. It's like you only partner with her, but she's getting all of the, the glory. She's getting all of the, 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 the movement. That like she's the only one going to these interviews, getting all the clients, and you're just sitting there. You don't know what's going on. And Lord, I should warn you that you should start it on your own. Don't partner with people. And if you partner with people, everything will collapse. Are you, are you in the healthcare field? There's a business there. huh? But well, there's a business there that I saw. I saw it. Aha. Bring her up. Bring her up for me. Bring her up for me. Why am I seeing a man putting a ring on you and throw it away? Were you separated? Did you have like a, a, a how you call it? An engagement removed from your finger. No, no, no. I say engagement. I see a ring being taken out of your hand and thrown away from you. So we need to pray for um, um, engagement not to, not to come and be removed. Because this will put you back two more years. Fire. Fire. Did you get your master's done yet? Ah, I see a scholarship in your hand. Fire! That's the motive. Let her receive it. Let her receive it. She must go higher. Amen. Amen. She must go higher. Maka Solivia. Maka Solivia. Le Paca Talivia. Say, Father, my God. Father, my God. I need my blessing. I need my blessing. I must take it by force. I must take it by force. Say, I must take it by force. I must take it by force. It's something that belongs to me. It's something that belongs to me. I must take it by force. I must take it by force. I want to take it by force for one minute. Take it by force. There's something that belongs to you. Take it by force. Take it by force now. Take it by force now. Take it by force now. Mata Kalabahaya. I must take it by force. And everything you try to prosper has been taken down, down, down by the name of Ali, Ali, Mr. Ali. And so God is saying, and this is the way they have been something for almost 25 years that has been taken from your hand. And you asking God, when will I be replenished? When will I come up again? And I heard the Lord. But when I heard the Lord, I see a woman. Like, like M. I see an M name. Mari, 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 I see a name. The side name is Sisei. Because this is this are this are partner that's supposed to come partner with you. You understand? I'm seeing your spirit not only in Liberia, not only in Nigeria, 
not only in Sierra Leone, not only in Gambia, but you are moving around West Africa. And you are supposed to be partner with different people, even Lebanese too, they will connect with you. But it's like ever since this man played with your destiny, everything is stagnated. Can I pray for you? Stand here for this one. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, your son came to receive a blessing today. Lord, replenish and restore his life. Restore his life. Hey! Restore, restore, restore. Restore. Fire. 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 Yes, more, 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 more. Hey, heal it, heal it, heal it, heal it. I heard you not Say, Father, raise me up. Father, raise me up. Say, raise me up, Lord. Raise me up, Lord. I must not be the same. I must not be the same. Say, raise me up, Lord. Raise me up, Lord. Can I talk to you, sir? Was there a court case that was that was that was lost? Because I saw a lawyer beside you. And as I saw this lawyer beside you, I saw the lawyer put red handkerchief. Red handkerchief. Red is the symbol of stopping. And the lawyer wants to stop business, wants to stop the work. Because when I saw before you, it was like, I didn't see victory. And the Lord said, he said, he said call victory for him. Hmm? Hmm? Call victory for him. There was, a, there was a surgery in the realm of the spirit, a surgery that the enemy has called to perform over your life. That it was to be an attack over your health. And I heard the Lord said, we need to pray to cancel any surgery plan within now to next six months. I don't know. Who is born on March? Who is born on March? You born on March? March what? Seven? March. This is March 9 of 84. March 9 of 84. March 9. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing because they're holding a boy in their hand. This is the woman I'm seeing. They're holding a boy in their hand. March. Now, in the realm of the spirit, So the, the, the baby shower is on March 7th. No, it's supposed to be March 9th. That means that they, they, they push it back. And the original plan was supposed to be higher. You understand? This is what we Who's Tony? Did you, did, you, did, did you and Tony plan to do business? But Tony is like a bad star back towards you. Everything that you do, Tony wants to do too. Hmm? So, so remove yourself from Tony. Because Tony wants to get an apartment like an apartment with you. Hmm? Don't do it. Because in that apartment, I'm seeing police raiding that apartment. When police raid that apartment, they are to sign you for 10 years in prison. Tony is a bad company. You have control. Hmm? Who's Kelvin? Kelvin. There's another person giving you to remove your hands into it. Okay? The Lord is exposing people around you this season. Because even you, it is by God's grace that you are alive. Seek up, down. Seek up, down. I'm seeing this take three times to four times. 
Okay. So come with me, friends, okay? I'm seeing you in a, in a brawl, at a fight. A fight. Over an exchange that went wrong. Be careful. Hmm? Because the enemy is like, you are like the second favor of your mother. Second favor. And if you're not careful, you'll be gone. There'll be only one favor. You understand me? Because, because the one that you're supposed to do on this earth, you have already been started yet. Because you used to have this, this idea about an hospital. To put like an hospital. Hmm? You do it. Hmm? I'm seeing you in Brazil. Then you travel out of Brazil, you go to different countries. You're doing, you're doing business with businessmen and they honor and respect you. I'm seeing a time in your life where elderly people will honor you. I don't know why I'm seeing baseball players around you. Baseball players. People who read uh, this thing. They have a strong connection with you. I am talking about in New York City. Huh? Okay. In New York City. Because my spirit is there now. Hmm? And it's like you want to you want to you want to buy like a complex. You have been dreaming about this. Find the complex. One, two, three. Hmm? Change your ways. Hmm? When I lay hands upon you, your whole life will begin to change around. Hmm? Because the spirit of the living God is causing me to lay hands and break curses for you. Because I am seeing a police officer put you in hand off like twice. I don't want it to happen the third time. So bad company needs to go. Who's you safe? You safe. Okay. Well, what God is going to do is remove these people from your life. Really? Are you commuting back and forth from like New York to here? Oh, I'm about to go. Did somebody give you a red vehicle? My friend, you're talking to a prophet. I'm not here guessing. I was not guessing when I was talking to you. Uh, is it that God is just shocking you? <laughs> go and watch that car, okay? And check the back boots. Check the underneath, not the front, the, the surface. Pull where the, the tire is. And make sure there will not be a gun there. Fire! Fire!
Maka soliata. Maka soliata. I didn't say sit down. No, you have been sitting your life. That's why Satan is doubling your life. You are sitting. Everything about your life is sitting. Take it. Take the anointing. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Come up higher. Out of ignorance. Come up higher. Wisdom. Out of delay. Come up higher. Come up. Hey! Come up higher. 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 What is calling you higher? Get married already. Start with this dating. Come Come up higher. Get that ring. It is time. Come up higher, bring ahead. Come up higher. Fire. 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 New life is coming. New life is coming. New new place of living. New vehicle. New 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 mentality. New relationship. Come up higher. Come up higher. I break it. I'm not done with Don't mind me. I'm not doing the speed of the Lord's work. As in, leave me to go, I'll go. Hmm? I'm seeing a lawyer beside you, the realm of the spirit. That we need to declare victory over your life. Hmm? Victory over your life. Why am I seeing the letter H as a name? Have you ever been to Ghana? You've never been to Ghana? 1994, you're supposed to be in Ghana. 96, in Gambia. I'm seeing you in 98, you should have been in Sierra Leone. You have to take a trip to, to I'm seeing you play like Germany. From 19, like 1998, all the way coming down to early 2000. It's like your life has all been mixed. It's like, it's like all of what's supposed to be for you, people have been taking it. What am I seeing twin women in your back? In the spirit. Do you have twin sisters? I'm seeing two twin sisters. They're hanging like this. Another one hang on the sister. It's like it's like they are dependent on you. But as I'm seeing, as I'm seeing them, it's like so much responsibility they want to place over your life. Hmm? By the guitar. I'm seeing the guitar in your hand. Like you're supposed to give this guitar to a gift. As a gifted gift. Like you give it to someone a gift. Have you come have you come across this 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 uh, it's like a like a um uh, acoustic guitar? No, 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 no. You are to buy a gift for someone. That means I'm seeing an event coming. Hmm? Who is Mr. Jalo? Have you met Mr. Jalo? This man comes from a place called Makeni. Mr. Jalo. You have not met your destiny helpers are looking for you. Because for you, you don't have the the things to do, but you have the things to say. People follow what you say. We're going to call your destiny help us to come by prayer. I want this body of this church to pray. Say, Father, stretch your hand towards him. Okay? Stretch your hand towards him. Say, Father, Father in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus whatever, power whatever power that's been holding him, been holding him and, holding his partners, and holding his partners, Lord, let them break. Lord, let, them let the power break. Let it break now. Let it break. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray.
pray, pray, pray. La ta ka ta, re pa ka ta ka la ba, ra ta ka sa ka ta, re ba ta ta la ba ni, le pa ya la ba la ba ni, re ba ta la ba ni, re ba ta la ba la ba ni, le pe le pe la ba, la prosti ka ta ya ba ni, re ba ta ku ba ra du ba, ra ta ya la ba ni ni, le pe le pe la ra ba ni, re ba ra ba se ke ni, le pa ra su se pa ra ka ni, le pe ni we pe ni we pe ni we pe ni. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Did you get into gold? A business with gold. Ah, this man, this man is like a rock. Ah, you are a businessman. Hmm? God has ordered your steps to go to Germany to meet with people there. Great people should have been connected with you. Hmm? So we have to pray. I want to pray for you, lay hands upon you, that every impossibility will begin to connect to you now. This will be possible now for you. La sakata. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Say, Lord, do wonders in my life. Say, Lord, do wonders in my life. I'm ready for grace. I'm ready for grace. Say, let grace come. Let grace come. I'm ready for grace. Lift your hands. Do you have two daughters? Be careful, okay? There is a gentleman just like you, light skin, tall, small. He, you should fear him. Okay, fear him. It's not a blessing for you. It's like you're forcing yourself with him, and he's like running away from you, like he's taking whatever he wants to you. Okay. So, so back away. Then you see, when when you back away, your worth will be so much higher. Because right now he's taking you like somebody who, who does like crack. He doesn't take you serious. He, he wants to impregnate you. Hmm? That's why I ask you, do you have two daughters? So be careful. Because if this happens, some people are enemy of progress that come into people's life when they see you shining. If he comes with a ring, I see a ring that he wants to bring in your hand to fool you. Don't take it. If you take it, it will be so hard for you to be even recognized by other people. Hmm? Are you walking in a, in, a, in a shop? Did you not get the key? Say, I received the key.
Did you lose the necklace recently? Was it like a like a a, 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 a heart? So I see a, I see like a necklace fall. And it has like a heart on it. I'm, I'm, I'm praying that this is what is a, a, a symbol that your heart falling. Because you need Jesus more than any, anything else. Where is your, where is your mom? What part of all that? Can I ask him? Jackson Peter? Peter's Why are you here? Why are you not close to her? Are you with Berries? Go back home. Go fix this with your mom. Hmm? Let her lay hands upon you. I will pray for you when you need a blessing from that woman. So there's a conflict between you and this woman. Heart falling. What do you guys heart fall? Forgive. Okay? Things are not always sweet. But God loves you. Hear me? I'm seeing a, a major job. Like you are like a manager over a major store. This is coming. But you need to have a blessing for your mom. Because like the enemy will take her out. Hmm? I'm, I'm, I'm praying that God will preserve this woman's life. Amen. That she will not die and you didn't make it. Amen. There are certain people you meet, you get blessing. And there are certain people you meet, blessing increase. Me, I'm able to open your life. But I didn't give birth to you. Hmm? So you need to have a heart of forgiveness. Are you guys four? Is, it, is she give birth to four children? Only three of you guys left. God is going to, going to transform the family, okay? Who's the accountant? I'm seeing a lady just like you. Doing like these numbers. Do you have a smaller sister or something? Or an older one? What does she do for a little? She huh? What's that? Oh, she doing numbers. Are they close to stop? Leave me alone. <laughs> so receive a manager position. Hmm? Tell her to go to school to learn. Because she loves numbers. She loves money more than you. <laughs> <laughs> Accounting. She'll be brilliant at it. Her mind is not slow. She needs encouragement. Like all you people need encouragement. You are broken. I will stop here because I'm still on that issue, but I'll stop here. Hmm? Come here for me. Are you ready for marriage? Or you still want to live the nightlife? <laughs> you need to settle down. Because you are you, the way you behave, you are beyond your age. How old are you? It's like, it's like you're out there. Slow down. Because hmm? the enemy hates you so much. Many people look up to you, they ask you for advice. Like this. You're like a mom to many, many women. Hmm? So we need to we need to teach. Don't be the, the, the baby. You like a baby. You behave like a child when you're like a grown person. I don't understand. Hmm? Give me a call. May God open your life. Hmm? Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said you would turn them into another person. Amen. Let that you break. Amen. Lord, anything that's in the way of holding them Amen. and holding her. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Father, Father, loose her. 
Let her climb that, that staircase. That great place that you planned for her. Lord, as you said that she will hold that position. Lord, they would not give it to anyone else but her. Juggling ball. People lift you, they drop you, they catch you, they lift you, they drop you, they catch you like this. I see you like that. You drop the ball. Those who have the document in their hand, bring it quickly. Have your documents in your hand, bring it quickly. I decree you will go beyond this level. I decree you will go beyond this level. I decree you will stay. You will go beyond this level. Oh, the 
Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Have a look. Bless it. I see for two to give Bring here, bring here. Heavy blessing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let's press it. Encourage you, okay? Don't don't play. Hmm? Be when when this person comes, don't play game. Don't play cheating game. Ah, I see you holding a son. I know that's what to come. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hmm? The time comes, Ray will be there, the house will be there. You travel. I see Atlanta in time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you are thinking about going to Atlanta. This is Georgia. Mm -hmm. You are going to go there and you find your husband. Let her receive it. Let her receive it. Let her receive it. Let her receive it. Fire. Fight! 
accomplish it. Accomplish it. Accomplish it. Accomplish it. Hey! Bills you have not paid, go on, on, on your phone, pull it. Yes, sure. If it's a car loan that you have, take it. Take it. Let them receive it, guys. You're holding them, let them receive it. Now, if they're anointing, if it's not your own, just bring them to me. Take it. Take it. Take it. You will never 
You pay it. You pay it. You pay. You pay. You pay. Take it.
Lift our hands. We're almost, we're almost done. Okay. You know, the Lord said to me, rehearsal. Rehearsal is when is when you are getting ready for a dedication or for a program. I want you to get your, your tithe and offering. Get your tithe and offering, and we're gonna we're gonna go to the dedication shortly. Please. Get your tithe and offering, please. While I say goodbye to our sisters and brothers and family. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us today. The same anointing in this place may be for you. May you also receive that to go up higher. As we are in the season to go up higher, you shall go up higher. May the blessing of the Lord rest upon you. May no harm come upon you. May what you declare, may God answer. In this season, may you receive double portion. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen, go to, uh, to, to, the, to the website, www.faithembassyint.org, and also on Cash App, 301